Okay, everybody, so I'm here at the 31st annual Good Guys Nationals. Here we're at the kickoff party at Western Moines Marriott. Now, I have run into Bush, who has or was. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, you would know that I was cover covering back to the 50s in St. Paul a couple of weeks ago. And I was trying to find somebody who was part of the original crew that started. Now, I have found them here at Good Guys in Iowa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Found one of the original ones right there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So he's not at the. He, he wasn't there. He hasn't. When was the last time you went? Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Really? Well, that's you haven't not, been back since then. No, that's not true. I went back in nineteen. Well, it's kind of yeah. sad. So, so tell me if you don't mind, how did it start? Back to the fifties. Mid, Midway Shopping Center. A group of people collected there and decided to cruise a. Uh, a uh, theater that was just letting out from Amer the movie American Graffiti and that kind of started the whole thing the next year we were at the fairgrounds wow I think we had three blocks in the fairgrounds three three blocks but how did it get so big so quickly I it mean we're talking a long time ago where there was no social media there was word no Facebook mouth. word, word of, mouth. of mouth word of mouth because it's, it's, it's big and now we have 10,000 cars 64 cut off was very arbitrary. Somebody decided we need to have a cutoff. And Even that early on? Yeah, I think it was the third year or maybe that we figured out we had a cutoff. Wow. And that somebody said 64. Okay. But even with that 64, can, it's grown. It's, it's big. It's big. It's big. So big. Now, Wow. Do you, and do you see some of the guys? I know most, a lot of them have passed away. I see some of the people here. A lot of them have passed away. Oh, yeah, yeah, that and uh, well, need, I'll see yeah, some I, of them here. Uh, I, I wouldn't really go about that. Oh, that's a, that's so, I mean, that's why it's so fascinating. Yeah. Better hit it. Okay. <laughs> I will, I will, but that's awesome. So tell me about Good Guys Nationals. How long have you been coming here for? We've been coming to the Good Guys Nationals. The Good Guys. Yes, we here. Yeah, we were here three years ago, but well, I've been here a long time ago. First but, time I came here was in 2009. Yeah. My first time. I, okay, so you've been coming so for I've a while. I've been here every year since then. Yeah, and it's, the kickoff party's always been at the Marriott. Right. This we, is what they call the host hotel. Okay. Barb, Barb and I were here a long time ago. A friend of mine said we're going, and he said he had a room for us, so we had to go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to check out your truck, truck in a minute. What do you have with you, self? I was admiring yeah, that. Yeah, oh, that's very nice. So, <laughs> Thank you. so tell me, what is it? What you got there? It's a 1971 Chevrolet Nova. And I see you've restored it. Uh, I bought it mainly like that. I've okay. done some work on it, but but I didn't do all the work. Nice. So. Nice. And do you know what um, what they did with the engine? Because it's not original. I'm no, it's saying. not original. It's a 502 crate motor, as they call it. You buy it from Chevrolet. It's all kind of in a crate, like yeah. Buy, and you just you know it's all together. And you, but it's 500, 502 cubic inch, 502 horsepower. Ooh, so that's it nice. handles the car pretty good. That's nice. <laughs> now, okay, everybody. So I'm here at the 31st annual Good Guys Nationals. Here we're at the kickoff party at Western Moines Marriott. Now I have run into Bush, who has or was. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos, you would know that I was cover covering back to the 50s in St. Paul a couple of weeks ago, and I was trying to find somebody who was part of the original crew that started. Now I have found them here at Good Guys in Iowa. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. So he's not at the. He, he wasn't there. He hasn't. When was the last time you went? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Really? Well, that's you haven't not, been back since then? No, that's not true. I went back in 19. Well, it's kind of yeah. sad. So, so tell me, if you don't mind, how did it start? Back to the 50s. Mid Midway Shopping Center, a group of people collected there and decided to cruise a, uh, a uh, theater that was just letting out from Amer the movie American Graffiti. And that kind of started the whole thing the next year we were at the fairgrounds wow so i think we had three blocks in the fairgrounds three three blocks but how did it get so big so quickly i it mean we're talking a long time ago where there was no social media there was word no of facebook mouth. Word, of word of mouth word of mouth because it's, it's it's big and now we have 10,000 cars cut off was very arbitrary 
Somebody decided we need to have a cut off. Yeah. Even that early on? Yeah, I think it was the third year or maybe that we figured out we had a cut off. Wow. And that somebody said 64. Okay. But even with that 64, it's growing. It's, it's, it's big. It's big. It's so big. Now, Wow, do you, and do you see some of the guys? I know most, a lot of them have I see some away. of the people here. A lot of them have passed away. Oh, yeah, yeah, that and uh, well, need, yeah, I'll see yeah, some I, of them here. Uh, I, need, I wouldn't need. really go about go oh, okay, that. So, that's so, that's so, I mean, that's why it's so fascinating because. Yeah. Better it, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will, but that's awesome. So tell me about Good Guys Nationals. How long have you been coming here for? How long what? How long have we been coming to the Good Guys Nationals? The Good Guys. Yes, we here. Yeah, we were here three years ago, but well, I've been here a long time ago. First but, time I came here was in 2009. Yeah. When I first time I Okay, came. so you've been coming so for I've a while. I've been here every year since then. Yeah, and it's, the kickoff party's always been at the Marriott. Right. This we, is what they call the host hotel. Okay. Barb, Barb and I were here a long time ago. A friend of mine said we're going and he said he had a room for us. So we had to go. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're going to check out your truck, truck in a minute. What do you have with you? So, I was admiring yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. So, <laughs> Thank you. so tell me, what is it? What you got there? It's a 1971 Chevrolet Nova. And I see you've restored it? Uh, I bought it mainly like that. I've okay. done some work on it, but, but I didn't do all the work. Nice, no. nice. And do you know what um, what they did with the engine? Because it's not original. I'm no, it's saying. not original. It's a 502 crate motor, as they call it. You buy it from Chevrolet. It's all kind of in a crate, like yeah. Buy, and you just you know it's all together. And you, but it's 500, 502 cubic inch, 502 horsepower. Ooh, so it nice. handles the car pretty good. That's nice. <laughs> now this would be classified as a street rod. This is a muscle car. A muscle car. 48 on down is a street road. It's okay. getting lost in the yeah. system. Yeah. So and, it, you know, and then it, uh, then it goes up to to muscle cars. Yeah. And that's uh, up and up till 78, 9 maybe. And then it goes to classics. Yeah. Classics. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask that is because there's a fine line between what's getting classified as a street rod, as a hot rod these days. Right. The whole thing is getting yeah. muddy. Muddy, and especially yeah. when states are making up their own regulations yeah. and their own oh. rules on what you can register as a. The old certain... days, 48 and before, was considered a street rod. Yeah. Then there was a cust the customs in between there, and then muscle cars. Yeah. And now the whole thing is muddy. Muddy. But at least the good guys allows everybody to come in and have a good time. Yes. Yeah. We hope. We hope. <laughs> we are, we're hoping it won't rain tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> it will. It said it will. So I've got an that umbrella. That means I don't have to wash the bugs off my truck. That's it. <laughs> that's it. But that's awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks for that. You bet.
nice Camaro. I love yellow and I love it even more when it's got black stripes on it. We're going to walk over to Bush's truck and have a look to see what he's got here with us. How could I forget your name? <laughs> I forget names easily, but I don't think I'll forget that one. Which spell will be you? <laughs> All right, sir, what do you have here? Come first. 1964 Chevy pickup. 64 Chevy pickup. And how long have you had it for? How long have I had it? I've uh, been driving it uh, probably uh, five years, yeah. but we've had it probably, took a while to build it. You built it yourself? Yeah. Great, great. And I don't do paint or, uh, or an interior though. Okay. And what was the condition when you got it? A lot worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself in a pickle, did you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks great. What was, the, what was so bad about it? Did it have a lot of rust? It was rust. Yeah. Hidden. Oh no. Okay. You didn't get tricked, did you? Where the rust was covered? I had paint on it, a quarter inch thick. But uh, no, I, I pretty much knew what I was getting into. I just was worse than I thought it was. Right. Take a picture of the back. What's happening at the back? A little artist work. Oh. My shop has a name. Stonehill Garage. And that's what you do? You restore the classics? No, that's no? my house. That's my garage. Oh, that's your I garage. Don't. <laughs> I thought you said shop. That's where this was built, though. <laughs> that's yeah. where it was built, at yeah. Stonehill Garage. That's pretty cool. So what? you didn't do the paint, you didn't do the interiors. I'm guessing you did the engine? I did put the engine in. I uh, did the chassis. It's got airbags. Uh, uh, I did this. You turned it into a driver? Ah, oh, that's nice. Look at that wood. You want a beer? Sure. No. Oh. So do you... Um, oh, sorry. No, you're right. What, can you open the hood? Let's have I a think look. I remember. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want to be demanding orders, you know. So he doesn't. He doesn't understand that uh, the domestic beer. They're big drinkers. That's why they kick me out because I don't drink. <laughs> That's, well, what I used to say. Though, I think Australians have breeding farms for the military people. They were all big. All about to lose a screw. One of the first computerized motors, so what does oh, that mean with regards to transmission? Uh. See, this is why I get everybody to open up their hoods. You never know what's happening under there. <laughs> you, know, you have to remember to put that in before you go out to the fairgrounds tomorrow. Yeah, that's... Uh... So what would happen if you didn't have that in? Nothing. <laughs> It'll just rattle. It'll rattle, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, that's great. And um, you said it's one of the first automatic transmissions. No, the computer-controlled motors. Okay. Yeah. Back in '87, uh, they just starting that stuff. And, right. Uh, it's a fuel, one of the first fuel injected motors uh, Chevrolet did. And they did it for the Camaro. Yeah, I think others too. I think the Corvettes came out with them too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kids got a '78. Corvette that's got that fuel port injection, the kind of the wonky 
computer system. I shouldn't have done this. Why? The motor that I had to begin with was junk. Oh, was it? And we had to replace it right away. So you did that yourself? You've done cars before or? Yes, we, mm -hmm. uh, we're kind of over the top. Okay. We have four cars. Okay. We have a 30, 1935 Dodge with a late model V8 in it. My wife has a uh, 65 Falcon convertible, nice. an 89 Mustang GT convertible, and this. Wow, and Plus you... a couple of drivers. Uh, just a few. <laughs> and you like to do the, a lot of the restorations yourself. You've done this all your life, or how do you no, know? All my life, probably for 40 years. Okay. I actually sold the first couple, which was a mistake. Yeah. Should have kept them. But I mean, you've still got some really nice ones. What yeah. what made you get into doing this? Is that something you grew up with, or? I mean, you don't just wake up. You don't just wake up one day and be able to put on an engine. I mean, for uh, for me, I mean, as a girl, that that's that's big stuff. Yeah, when I was a teenager, we played with cars. Yeah. yeah. Went to the to University Avenue. Yeah. And ran up and down the cruise this. Yeah. Avenue and uh, try to pick up girls and yep. be cool. Yeah. Let's not forget, Bush is one of the first guys that started Back to the 50s event, which is a huge event. 10,000 plus cars. Got almost a six part series on the channel. Do check it out. And Bush, right here, was one of the first people because he lived in St. Paul. So without him and his friends, Back to the 50s would not be happening. <laughs> All right. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. Well, thank I'm going to probably see you around the event probably tomorrow. Yep. We'll Depends how big it is. If it and starts. If it starts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her started. Over here. You've got my attention now. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that good or bad? <laughs> That's good. Uh, Why don't you come tell me what you have? It's that little black one there. 32 Ford. Oh, 32. Sorry, I thought you said 32 Ford. Beautiful. It's still in the works. How long you've had it for? Since so 09. Okay. I still not done with it. And, and why the 32 Ford? Oh, it's the, they're the car, they're the hot rod. Why, what makes it the, they, the street rod? Yes. Not the hot rod? Yeah. Okay, because these weren't built for racing, they were built for the street. Well, now, they used to race them back in the old days. Okay. They used to race them. They used to race them? Uh -huh. Yep. So they were originally hot rod, because they were made before 49, so. Right. That's why they were a hot rod, but then it's been modified. Uh-huh, yes. Yeah. It's got a 350 in it with a 350 automatic. I just bring it up here to, for, for the show. For the for show. The fun. Yep. Yeah. Not in for anything, just just fun. That's did, it. What did you do on the car yourself? Everything. You did everything yourself? Yes. Yeah. I bought the body, I bought the frame, the rolling chassis. Right. And then everything else I put together myself. Wow. And you've done this before, obviously. Oh, yes. yeah, yep. I've been in hot rods and cars ever since I was 14 or somewhere along there. So that's why this is why you like the yes. 32. And I like them about fenders. I noticed that. It that's gives it a nice, way. unique look, yeah. doesn't it? Well, that's the way it was when they were racing them without the fenders. Yes, yes. Uh, they, they raced them without yeah. fenders. The they lighter, used to the what better. They call uh, stock cars, you know. They used to make stock cars out of them. They'd chop them up and all that. And make okay. Stock cars, race, stock car racing. Right. And so, and I think they still do in certain areas. They still have these that they race. I'm not for sure on that, but I think they do. I like your choice of wheels. Well, thank you. <laughs> And you built everything yourself. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you, when you bought this? What what you you built it from the bottom? No, uh, when I bought it, yeah, I got the body, mm -hmm. the hood, the grill shell. Of course, I got fenders, yes, grind boards, yeah, and the frame. You got the frame as well, okay? Right. Okay. Then everything else on it, I bought and stuck it together. Wow. I didn't make the A arms or anything yes. like that. I already bought that. They were already made, but I put it on and all that. Yes. Yeah, it's three, what's the color? Two piece hood. Two piece hood. Uh -huh. It'll okay. raise up here and then raise up. Okay. So it doesn't go up? No. Okay, it's just uh, two piece hood. Yeah, it kind of like that. Kind of okay. like a bee when you raise it up. I love it. I learn something new every single car show. <laughs> now I know that, that those ones are the two piece hoods. Yes. That's great. 
That's great. And do you just drive this around or? Yes. All the time? This is uh, your car, it's yeah. your driver? It's a, it, it's a driver, so, yes. I bet you have so many people just stopping. Oh, and yes, we do. Yeah. And, she and wants, it's all modified. It's, all it's modified. not everything. Okay. It's all. Well, I mean, it has to be. Yes. If you want to drive right. it and be safe right. on the streets, you uh -huh. have to modify it. That yeah. I understand. Oh, yes, yes. But that's so cool. So she also got a 32 for 33. 33. Uh-huh. She has a 33. She has a 33. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. Look after yourself. Yeah, fun. You too. Well, tomorrow. <laughs>